Hi guys. Um, I am zoomed to way in. I, I can't zoom out. Let me see. Nope, that's not it. Okay, so I'm in my car. I'm getting ready to go to the bio park. I'm so excited. I cannot explain how excited I am. Uh, so I'm a member of the bio park, which means I get a free admission. But today is the first day that they opened up um, the bio park for the whole year. This is after the pandemic. I'm so excited to get out of the house. Um, I am not overemphasizing how important this is. I haven't been to the bio park in like 10 years. But then when you see that you can't go, it's it's just so heartbreaking. So I bought a membership. I just happened to do it. I wasn't really thinking about it. I just said, you know, I'm gonna buy a membership because I wanna go. And then they opened this weekend for members only. So this is gonna be really cool. I wonder if they're giving stuff away too. So they're just trying to figure out how to kind of control the crowds. It's, it's gonna be limited capacity. Um, like every 30 minutes they'll let some people in and I want to get something to eat there so I got money in my pocket ready to spend take my money and I'm gonna try to film as much as I can I don't know how much memory I have but um, and then I only have like two hours because then I got to come back home but all right I'll see you there so I guess I'm about a third of the way there coming down into the South Valley now I'm gonna take Second Street and then gonna cross downtown. Um, I don't know how much traffic there's gonna be. I feel like I have to sneeze. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, um, I get really nervous leaving the house on the weekend. Like, I'm okay driving to work most days. But on the weekend, I, I get really nervous. If I don't have to leave the house, I really don't. Okay, I'm almost to Second Street. Um, so this is a low traffic road that's kind of industrial, so should be pretty safe. <laughs> I'm not that nervous now. Oh, I passed it. Oh crap, okay, well, oh. Okay, no, I'm gonna go Broadway. No, I'm gonna go Broadway. All right, I'm gonna still kind of go downtown, but it's a little bit farther, farther east. Um, yeah, so I hope it's a nice day. I mean, it's a little windy, it's warm. I got my weekend clothes on. I thought about wearing flip-flops or sandals, but um, they're old, really, really beat up and old. So I've got some really cushiony, cushiony walking shoes that I usually just wear around the house. So I'm all set, ready for lunch. Let's see how the crowds do. Let's see how it goes. I saw a roadrunner by my house. And I don't need to get gas yet. All right. Central. So we have Century Theater over here. It's a movie theater, that round building. And um, on the bottom is Chicano's, that's a restaurant. And I don't know what's on the top actually, just offices. I gotta pay attention to my driving. Okay, city bus. It's 
so this part of Central is just one lane. <clears throat> I never really have problems parking downtown if I want to come downtown. But if there's an event, uh, forget it. There's so much traffic here. It looks pretty mild for a Saturday, especially since it's a nice day, so. Um, not, I don't think the movie theater is open yet. I guess that's the key thing. And there's some restaurants and bars down here. So, oh, let's go. Oh, it's kind of boring. Come on. So there's all the bank buildings. Um, this is one of the oldest buildings. Uh, it looks pretty much the same as when I, I was a kid. Not much has changed. Um, bricks. You can see some old bricks there. Um, this thing on the corner, this has been redone so many times, like in the last 10 years. That's like a bar. So this is kind of like the area where all the college students come out. Um, the library, bar and grill. There's a um, bourbon and boots. And there's a pool hall over here. I used to come over here. <laughs> it's just be drunk. Be drunk downtown. This is the Kima Theater. So this is like the old movie theater from old Albuquerque. Um, looks like they put up a lot of like fencing because so we had a lot of protests for Black Lives Matter and a bunch of like people decided to throw rocks into windows and stuff. So the mayor got over here right away. <clears throat> and they boarded up the windows and they decided to go ahead and put artwork on the boards even though the boards are going to stay there all of that is glass by the way so they put artwork on the boards just in case because we didn't know when the protests were going to end so it's still there anyway those offices buildings are like closed there's no nothing there so the boards are going to stay and they were lighting fires over here in the intersection. The mayor was really mad. <laughs> so this is one parking lot I would use. All right, so we're almost, so this is kind of like, this is what downtown. So we're exiting downtown. That's the El Rey Theater. It's a music hall. So we're exiting downtown and we're going into Old Town. So Old Town, was the original city center and then you know modernization they built downtown <clears throat> the original city center is old town i got a roundabout we got some parks um there's a lot of restaurants i like coming through here um i used to go to the flying star restaurant all the time even though it was expensive but it was just a nice place to relax and it went out of business before COVID though. So it really wasn't about COVID. It's just that they went out of business. These are apartments. There's a lot of really old buildings here. Empty. Some of them are substandard. And, and this is where a lot of the hotels were. Like motels, like traveling, people that are traveling. These, this is like a really old hotel. I don't know if you can see this on the video. There's another old hotel. This is this one has been remodeled quite a bit. Downtown Inn. Somehow a little bit. Yeah, I think there's the there's another park. They got actually not this park, but the one back there. They um used to have like a Saturday uh, market, like a I don't know if it's a farmers market or a or a craft market or both. I've always loved these buildings here. I wanted to live here. <laughs> I want to live here. There's the hot dog stand is over here. Where is it? The dog house. The dog house is very famous. The dog house. Did I pass it? I passed it. I can't believe I passed it. The dog house was in Breaking Bad. I thought it was or is it just right here? Oh, I think I passed it. Ah, 
I did pass it. I passed it when I was looking to the right. So it's on the left back there. The, the dog house is just this tiny little building and with picnic tables in the parking lot and you just go buy hot dogs there. But it's been in business since I was a kid. It was like the place to go to go eat. Like we didn't have so many fast food restaurants. That was the one fast food restaurant we had. So I'm driving west on Central, Laguna Boulevard. So I'm almost to Old Town, I'm not quite there yet. Um, Garcia's Kitchen is over here on the left. Garcia's Cafe. I like their food. I stay away from restaurants right now though. And then Duran's Pharmacy, that's just a pharmacy but they put a restaurant in there which is really nice now. And then this Wendy's, my grandma liked to come. She would go to bingo and then she'd come bring me to Wendy's. <laughs> so this Wendy's been here for a really long time. Um, and then this is New Mexico's Tourist Center. I hope I don't run out of memory. So they sell pottery, jewelry, clothing gifts. So this is like when people come, tourists come, they're gonna be like walking around over here. So I don't see anybody walking around. This is pretty dead. This usually is a lot, really high traffic area. All right, I'm gonna pause because this is gonna get hairy. All right, there's Old Town Plaza. I had to pause because um, there's a curve and I'm glad I did because when the light turned green, Oh, I see. Oh, still went too many cars. You see, you see the white banisters? That's Old Town. There's, I can't see it. There's so many cars. I used to go get my car washed over here. I just stopped going. I just didn't want to spend the money. I'm just gonna keep filming. Okay, this is scary. No! So this is an electric bus. Um, uh, they're quiet and they're fast and they're scary. Yeah, I'm just trying to pay attention to my driving. Uh -uh. I bet the bus driver's pissed off because I have a phone on. Um, so there's some hotels over here. This is really nice on this side. They refurbished, they're refurbishing these old hotels. Like this one, oh, that's nice. All of this used to be kind of like the old Route 66 tourist area and the El Vado motel right here it it was all like run down and they and I was like what are they gonna do with that um, but they refurbished it and now it's like instead of hotel rooms there's shops okay so here's a botanic garden this is where we're trying to go so I'm gonna pause so I can get into the parking lot because there's so much traffic I don't know okay so I parked I really don't know if I can get in from this side um, because so they have a train, a little train station. And I don't know if the train is running. Um, but this is the the west side, west entrance. I guess I could walk this way. I, I've never ridden on this train before. So I don't think, I think I have to have separate tickets. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go this way. There's a sign right here. I'm gonna go this way. Uh, actually, I'm lost. So I'm just gonna walk. I don't, I just don't see an entrance. Like they parked over here. And there's security. See the, so there it is, but there's a big fence. And I'm just gonna keep walking until I find something. Okay, so this, there's like nobody on this side. Everybody's on the other side. But look at kind of, you know, it's like a little bit unkept. Um, I mean, it's beautiful. It's just, they didn't do the sidewalk. Okay, I guess it's just a little bit of a walk. You gotta get to that tower. This is nice. Uh, so I forgot my regular cloth mask and this is mask was in the car it's not my favorite mask to wear but maybe I'll find a mask to buy oh this is 
Okay, so I'm not as lost as I thought I was. Okay, I'm gonna pause. Yeah, okay, here's all the people. There you go. And now we're talking. Okay, this is actually the ticket booth. That's where I came from. The parking lot's just right there. It wasn't that far. So, I guess I have to go to the ticket booth and show them my member card. So, I think I have to get a wristband. Albuquerque Bio Park. And this is just kind of the central area. There's uh, shops. There's food. I haven't been here in such a long time. There's not that many people here. Okay, there's a cafe. I'm gonna go to the cafe. This is my goal, get a ticket. This came into the Botanic Gardens uh, after I had to um, go to like two ticket counters. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, and where are we? April, May, March, May. <laughs> We're in early May. So all of the flowers are blooming. So this is just such a perfect time to come to the Botanic Gardens. It's not super crowded. So this is Spanish Moorish Garden. Um, it's been like 10 years since I've been here. It's a great place to do photographs. Oh, look at these flowering trees. Oh my goodness. Is that a cherry tree? I think that's a cherry tree. And it looks like it has fruit on it, like from last year. Holy cow. Holy cow. No, this is an apple tree. Holy cow. Maybe it's a crab apple tree. But those are crab apples. Those are tall. They must fertilize these. This is rosemary. I don't know what this is. Um, I might know what this is. I want one of these. This has pretty flowers. More rosemary. These are not naturally. These are Home Depot. <laughs> and then I wish it were. I'm all by myself here. <sighs> Look at how pretty. I get some pretty, pretty colors. I bet these won't last very long because it's starting to get hot. Is that nice? It is nice. Get some more. Uh, I can't say I smell anything because I have a mask on. But it probably smells good. This is a rose garden. This is nice. So I got in free. <laughs> um, the tickets are $15. And the kids are $5. This is one of my favorite parts. And this is Wisteria. Look at this, oh gosh. This is, this is way bigger than I ever remember. Oh, the birds. I've never seen it this big. It must, they must have just put it in one like 10 years ago. So the people that donate money, This is one of my favorite parts. And I don't think there's anything like this area in the city. Maybe at the country club, maybe. Country club looks like this. Oh, I don't know, I think they have outdoor concerts out here, but they definitely do it at the zoo. And the zoo looks like this, grassy. So there's a lot of people over here. Pretty spaced out. There was a mom getting nervous the other back there when I first got here. Like, don't touch anything. This is nice. And there's just so much to see here. Like I could spend the whole day and not see everything. Mmm, 
decided to wear this hat. Keep the sun out of my eyes. I didn't get into the aquarium because you have to buy tickets in advance. And I didn't buy my tickets in advance. Make sure I put my stuff in my wallet. There's some sunglasses. I am spooky. Put my stuff back in my purse. I am so ready to go to the cafe. So yeah, so I went to the main ticket counter and he showed me how I, 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 I saw it, but I forgot. You're supposed to s sign up for a s time slot. Well, the aquarium time slots are all, are all filled. Um, of course, no surprise. <sighs> so a little bit past that tent, like there's a huge walking path that goes, it goes far. Like, I think it goes like a mile. Like you could walk through here. And they probably extended it since the last time I was here. But there's like a big lake back there. Like a full blown lake. And we're actually like, like I would be facing the Rio Grande River. We're like right on the river. But you saw the train station that was there. Uh, that train station I think circles the entire park or goes through some of the scenic areas. You know, people that can't walk through, they can sit in the train. And this is like some kind of a grotto for kids. It's kind of neat. It's almost like the zoo, but with no animals. I should start walking. Nobody's been walking on this grass. It's so thick. Plants. You don't need to make gardens at home when you can come over here. The penny well. They used to tell me never go in there and get the money because someone will catch you. Well, I bet you I could. <laughs> You know, doing graduation pictures. It's just this nice seat. See, like I said, you can spend all day here. Nice place to go on a date. Oh, it's so peaceful. Great, this clay work. There's a little guy on the back of the train. <laughs> He's so cute. It's a little town. Get some cars. Lily Pond. Lily Pond. Like this. Creek. There's the train.
just on the other side of the grassy area. I was sitting right there. And the tent is right here. This is all train stuff. Miniature train. Look at this water wheel. I wish I could bring my dog, but I can't. There's a train again. Why does it keep stopping? It's a little engine that could. I hear goats. Okay, so it's not goats. Yeah, it's, it's sheep. It's these sheep. lights on it. This is, I just don't remember it being so nice. It's so much better than it used to be. What happened there? Derailment. This is blue rock. This is the butterfly gardens. Oh, the hummingbirds are here. Hummingbirds. I need to get a new feeder. Mine is because they're not hatched yet. I know. Well, I just saw a bunch of hummingbirds. There's a deck in the tree. You see it? You see the deck? a duck in the tree. I didn't know they climbed trees. It's a wood duck. I disturb it. I just saw a bunch of hummingbirds. Where did they go? So there's a butterfly garden. I don't know if there's butterflies yet. It's probably too, still too cold. But this is cool.
<laughs> dinosaur train, that's the dinosaur train. <laughs> that's nice. Wow, it was going fast. Oh, stopped. You picking up the people? Someone's getting creative license here. I don't know about these polar bears. That's going to happen with global warming, though. Look at this house. That's cool. I love these flowers. All these flowers. This is the butterfly garden. bees in there that's new a mining bee okay Alrighty. so it's open um, let me see what's going on in here Hold on. okay we're gonna go into the butterfly garden now Hello. Hello. Thank so, you. So you watch your step because uh, sometimes okay. the butterflies land on the ground. Okay. Please don't touch them because they're delicate. Yeah, have fun. If you have any questions, me or Thomas can. Okay. Answer. Thanks so much. Yep. I haven't been here in such a long time. Uh, so exciting. Yeah. So the majority of the butterflies probably aren't out, huh? No, we don't have too many out right now. You can see a couple Just of a tiger swallowtails up there. Oh. Um, we got a malachite butterfly right there. Oh, so now I one. see them. Like, I didn't see them before. And then we got a buckeye. That's a tiger swallowtail. And then that white one is... Oh, uh, that's a great southern white butterfly. Oh my gosh. I would have thought that was a moth. And there's... Yeah, so usually with butterflies, I mean, there's some butterflies that are more closely related to moths and vice versa. But usually you could tell them apart because the moths have more freely antennae, whereas they, yeah. the butterflies have like very thin and they have like a little yeah. uh, fold at the end. I have those ones in my garden. Yeah. Okay. These are common. Uh, I've never seen that one. Oh. Yeah, Do you have cocoons on display? Yep, so right over there. Okay. The Look at this. this. So this is a bug house. I want, see, I want one of these in my yard. But, you know, they, so these are just bamboo tubes. They sell like this for like 20 bucks. Oh look, these are mud tubes. I can just do mud tubes. I love it. I'm just gonna build one. So these are for the bees. I don't see anything in there though. Oh, I do see maybe one. Wow, this is gonna be exciting. So all the plants in here are like for the butterflies to pollinate. Here's another one. That's so cool. I'm gonna keep walking here. It said not to step on the butterflies if they land on the ground. So they got misters going. I'm gonna go look at the cocoons. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah. This is where they emerge. Oh, they used to have a different thing on the wall, but this is, you can see them better. Oh, yeah. I remember. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Oh, look at this one. It's so pretty. Yeah, so most of these that are emerging here are uh, tiger swallowtails. Oh. Basically, this whole row back here is emerging. We've got 11 butterflies in here total. We usually only get three or four each day. So, do you let them out when they're done? How do you... Does somebody decide to let them out or? Yeah, so after they emerge from the chrysalis, they're all wet and they can't really fly. So they have to dry out, right? That takes a couple hours, which is convenient because we don't let them out when there's people. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. So when we close and before we open, uh, we open this up and we take the butterflies out by hand. Oh, that's just so cool. Oh, look, another one. It's emerging right oh. there. Oh, see, I got a little. Oh, I got it on film. 
That is incredible. Oh, this is so cool. I'm glad I came today. Yeah, this is the third day we've been open. It's coming up. These ones right here are some of my favorites because they're so small and pretty. Do you know what the name of this one is? Yeah, Atala. Atala. Yeah, they're all labeled here. Okay. Take your time. We're not rushing you. <laughs> you can do it. It's probably like, I feel so cramped in there. Yeah. They've got that little mesh there so that they can crawl out of their cocoon and leave it behind. Or their chrysalis. Yeah, well, I d years of research to figure out what they want to do, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, this is so cool. So, um, you, they do the adult, the adults lay their eggs on the plants, right? Yeah. And then when they decide to form the chrysalis, these cocoons are like on the plants, right? And then you pick them off, you collect them. Well, usually uh, with these, we order these um, from different places. Oh, okay. Because some of these butterflies are not ones that really live oh, okay. uh, very commonly here. Oh, okay, so you have to order them. The yeah. swallowtails live here, though. Yeah. And then we just, uh, we get the pupae and we just glue them onto these sticks okay. with silicone. Oh, okay. Oh, this is so exciting. Uh-huh. So this supply right here... I assume they're going to emerge in the next couple of weeks, right? Indeed, yeah. And this is going to, um, these are going to live in the, so like in a couple of weeks all these are going to be flying around. Probably, yeah. We're hoping to get more uh, more pupae by uh, Tuesday. Okay. And then we're going to glue them up and oh, have even more in here than we have now. That's exciting. Um, so a couple of weeks I have to come back because I'm going to have to see all these guys flying around. Oh yeah, and in the summer that's going to be the peak probably yeah. for most butterflies. I've been here... Oh, you've got a lot of space here. Uh-huh. There's only three. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So that next shipment of pupa is going to be really, really exciting. This is really exciting. Indeed. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Okay, so I'm going to just keep walking this way. The hummingbirds were over here. I saw a bunch, but I guess they went off. I don't know when they're going to be nesting. Well, they put plenty of feeders out. And they're going to have butterflies on the outside, too. Nectar bat, agave plant, night pollinators. Oh, that mist feels amazing. Bats are famous for pollinating the agave plant. That explains why the agave flower is so high up and uh, is so tall. So we've got three agave flowering stems at work. And I've been watching them. I think when they bloom, I'm gonna come out at night and see if I could film some bats. Some, um, I, I know what this is, I forgot. I tried planting this in my yard. It's so pretty. Go pesticide free in your garden. For organic produce, buy native flowers, make your own bee house. Don't rake your leaves in the fall. Check, check, check. We do everything except maybe not organic produce all the time. I need a bee house. Okay, I was in the butterfly house, but this is the Bulgarian, so let's see what's over here. Paracactus. Um, more prickly paracactus. Bulgarium. Ooh. Okay, so the other side of the building I didn't film, but there's a huge black widow um, sculpture on the top of the roof. I wonder if there's turtles in here. I don't see any. 
I think this is a turtle pond because that's why there's logs. I didn't see any. Maybe they're still hibernating. I'm looking. And I, I think they go up on these rocks too. Let's see, I don't see any. I'll have to ask. Sanitize your hands before entering the Bulga Bulgarium. I'm in the Bulgarium. I'm not in the aquarium, but this is not bad either. My head is kind of sweaty. First thing I see is scorpion. Where is it? Ew! <laughs> you see it? Get the girl. Oh, they scare me. Tarantula. Where is it? I don't see it. Oh, it's, oh. it's in a I know this, I got these at my house. Stink beetle. This is nice. Ooh, the, the top is open. Ooh. Velvet ant. I've seen one of those before. They are so creepy. Let's see. Oh, oh. It's right there. Got some glare. See the velvet ant. There's one right there. There's another one there. There's another one there. These are so cute. Flanged dark green beetle. Look at this one. I haven't been here in ten years. I don't. I don't really remember this. I know they had tanks, but this is kind of new. Oh. oh, it's tiny. Oh, it's so weird. Chihuahua in desert. Ooh, yuck. <laughs> there they are, they're right there. They cut big chunks out of the leaves. Wow. He's right here. He's on this side. Oh, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> but this is huge. He's in the middle. Can you see him? He's right there. You can see him better on this side. Stand right here. He's right there. That was a lot of big bugs. Okay, let's see. There's a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Oh, these are huge. These are bigger than I ever expected. Oh my gosh. So they, they'll feed these to the lizards. That's big. Here's my glasses. <laughs> That's huge. Okay, so the volunteer just told me that these beetles are the largest in ca captivity in the world. Not not the largest in 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 the wild, but in captivity, these ones are the biggest. Oh my gosh. Trying to get out. You can't get out. You can't. I can't help you. He's got like fur. You want to come with me? Let's go. It's like a dog. I think he wants to come with me. I can't take you. I think he's following me. I don't want him to fall. Goodness gracious. Look at this one. Okay, I'm just going to go on this side so he can. I think he's gonna climb on me. You can't do that. He's trying to climb out. You can't do that. And then she said that they have more in the back. <laughs> ah, what are they gonna do with all these? I wonder what eats these guys. Snakes? Lizards? Okay, he stopped struggling. Look at this one. My, my thoughts exactly. Okay. <laughs> Somebody can. Okay. I'm afraid to look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know if this is coming through very well, but there's so many. So the red the red light is basically dark for them. They can't see red light. What the heck is this? Oh, they eat fruit. There he is, right there. That's big. Assassin bug. Oh my god.
gosh, those are the babies. <laughs> this, is, this is the mom and dad right here. The ones on the top are the babies. The mom and dad are down in the bottom. Oh, they're big. Okay, this one's cute. I don't get upset with this one. That's cute. It's big. Look at how big that is. This is my hand. It's bigger than my finger. It's right there. Tr Trinidad Chevron Tarantula. It's really hard to see in here. I don't see this one. Like hiding, I guess. It's right there. It's a millipede. You can stay in the box. <sighs> I'm just feeling nervous. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> imagine, imagine seeing this in real life. <laughs> oh my god. The heck is that? Horse head curl up. Oh, it looks like a stick. That's not it. Is that it? That's it! Oh my god, I thought that was a stick. Okay, that's the last one. I came outside again. I don't know what this is. Chuckwalla. Supposed to be a big lizard in here. Oh, it's not here. Okay. All right. Well, I'll have to come back later. It's a nice garden. There's the pond right here. Okay, I'm all done with the Bulgarium. And I'm just doubling back the way I came. Here's the train on the side. I'm getting kind of tired. I'm going to have to go eat something. Oh, such a nice day. Okay, so it's like three, almost three. I'm pretty tired. I've been walking. Oh, I'm pretty tired. And I'm, I'm going to walk that way and then I'm going to double back. always happens. Got me a snack. I'm in the shade. It's so nice and cool. A lot of hand sanitizers are all over the place. This is called Dippin' Dots. It's, it's frozen dots. It's really, really cold. It's good. There's a lot of people walking by. I don't want it to look like I'm filming them, so I turn it off. I don't want them to think I'm talking to myself either. <laughs> So there's the big building. I think that's, they have they have a rainforest, which is just like a plants, mostly plants. Um, I don't think there's any animal in there, I don't think. I know there's a lizard house. There's a lizard house and snakes too. So that might be the, the desert environment. I think this is the rainforest. There's a, so there's another big building just like this for the desert environment. So I'm eating, this is probably going to be the only snack I eat because I'm going to have to go home. 
but I was thinking what I want to drink um, kind of feel like kind of feel like lemonade or something like that so I'm not sure I think I'm gonna on the way out I'm gonna go check out the cafe but I want something cold I don't want anything hot and whenever I get chai it has to be hot but uh, I just this is ice cold which is really nice so I feel like having like ice ice cold lemonade so I'm just gonna eat this and then I'm gonna walk back out I wonder what kind of bird this is. Kind of like, oh. we're just crawling up and down the tree. We've got kind of a hunky. Hunky, no. You're so cute. Kind of goes, coo -coo 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 -coo. It looks like a woodpecker. Looks like a kind of woodpecker. Well, I bet it is. I did, it was after my popcorn. He's looking for bugs. Mmm, so nice out here. <clears throat> I'm just eating my popcorn. I'll finish my Dippin' Dots ice cream. I've never had Dippin' Dots. A lot of people walking by, the hell they, ha they have their masks on. And it seems like they're all very happy people. A lot of people that are with their kids. Very relaxed. Some older people. All dressed up. Huh. Going on a date. Alright then. I'm gonna head on back. more of the gardens. So walk through here. I want one of these in my yard. It's hard to find these metal things though. They're antique. Magnolia tree, nasturtium, I don't remember this little corner, here, this little corner right here, this is nice, can I get away from the summer heat? <coughs> This is a nice cafe, but <clears throat> I don't want to look in the window. Um, so the, yeah, this is a nice cafe. They have a little patio on the side. They're kind of like don't want people to stay inside, so this is, but there's places to sit outside. And I, I don't really want to buy anything. <clears throat> this is the exit to the aquarium, bookstore, gift shop. So yeah, I'm ready to go home. Kind of tired. I parked on the other side, so I'm gonna walk this way. All right, we're all gonna go home. We're gonna go see mom. This is the outside of the Bulgarium. See, there's a black widow. <laughs> I forgot to ask him about the train. I guess I could find out online. Ah, the roses are blooming. That's nice. Okay, here we are. It's warm in my car. I didn't connect this video to the other one accidentally, but I just have to splice it. I'm trying to put the air conditioner on. Hmm. So I was in the shade most of the time, but my car's in the sun. Um, I had a great time. I'm so glad I came. 
So they've got it at 30% capacity and you and it shows like you can tell there's only a third of the people that are usually there. But uh I didn't get to go into the aquarium. I threw a bunch of stuff in my car, so messy. But next time and <clears throat> so that was just a lot of fun. And there's a lot of people out, they're relaxed. I mean it's this is the life, you know. If you want to go somewhere to relax, go to the bio park. The gardens look just amazing, absolutely beautiful. Um, everything is, you know, clean. And I didn't go in the cafe, but there wasn't anybody in there. Um, and there's people are back to work, so that's really nice to see. I feel kind of bad because a lot of them are just standing around pretty bored because there's not that many, that's not a big crowd, but it is early in the season. I don't even think it's tourist season yet. Um, actually that starts in June. I love this popcorn. I'm gonna head on home. I gotta straighten up the house because my mom is coming. Ah, my mom will be visiting in about an hour. Mmm. That membership got me in for free. I'm gonna have to come every weekend. So I couldn't bring the dog, but that's okay. I'm just kind of having a break from the dog. <laughs> that's kind of a shame because I could bring the dog to come take a walk on the river. So maybe um, I gotta make it a point to come more often. Um, got the membership, so might as well use it. And this is this is life. And if you don't live your life, then you may regret it. And even so, I really liked being alone today. Nobody to worry about. Nobody to worry about whether they're having a good time, which is always, every time I'm with somebody, I'm just always worried about them. And so it's a really nice change of pace for me to go somewhere and not have to worry about anybody but myself. I'm not really, I haven't, I don't experience that very much. So it's, it's very interesting to see that when I do come with people, I'm always worried about them. And I've been on dates here before and I like, kind of remember how maybe they would be grouchy or they're not having a good time. But today is perfect. I was having a good time. And that's all that matters. All right, time enough for now. Next time I'm going to the aquarium and I'm gonna film that. Talk to you later, happy Mother's Day.